We're going back into the fitting room today and I actually am going inside of a store that I've never been to, I've never shopped at. I don't really know what to expect. I'm a little nervous about that. But we're gonna go inside and try on some clothes at Aritzia today. And this one I've been kind of having on my list for a while and been putting off because uh, Aritzia. They're not the most size inclusive brand in the entire world. I have heard that they've like recently extended their sizing a little bit, but I see more Aritzia on some social media than like ever. And honestly, it's like every lifestyle influencer that I follow or vlogger that is straight size is constantly shopping at Aritzia. And I've actually seen a couple of plus size influencers that I follow try on some things at Aritzia. And I'm just curious. I kind of just want to know. And I had thought that maybe I would like order some things online and then see what I could do with that. But I really truly don't want to spend all of that money and then like have to return it and all of that. So I'm going to go inside the fitting room. And that's the other thing. The fitting rooms at Aritzia supposedly are very um, infamous, you could say, because they have what's called a communal fitting room. I'd like to speak to whoever came up with that concept. So it's possible that I'm going to have to go outside of the fitting room and use a communal mirror for this, which like you're thinking, Carrie, this sounds like a terrible idea. Why would you do it? I don't know but we're gonna do it. Cause I like torturing myself, I'm a masochist, I don't know. But we're gonna head in there. I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna be looking for. I mean, my last fitting room since moving to LA when I went inside Lululemon was like one of the worst fitting room experiences of my life. So I'm sincerely hoping that this is much better. So we'll see, I'm gonna head inside. I have really no expectations at all, but I am sincerely hoping that I don't come back into my car and cry after this is over but who knows we'll see let's go inside expect the worst hope for the best that's always my motto let's go to Aritzia I don't really know where to begin with this experience because it was pretty different <laughs> to others that I'd had before. I'll talk more about it at the end of the video, but the salespeople were everywhere and they were persistent. I went through this gigantic store and tried to pull basically anything that fit me. And actually the employees also chose items that they thought that I would like and put them in my fitting room as well. And speaking of the fitting room, this is basically what it looked like more or less. Um, it was pretty similar. There are no mirrors inside the fitting rooms and you have to come out of the fitting room to look in the mirror as I mentioned before and because there were so many people I didn't feel comfortable filming at all like outside of my actual private room so just so you know you're just gonna see me inside my fitting room and that's gonna be it but anyway after searching around for a while for mostly just anything in my size here's what I came up with the first item is these shorts by a Goldie and it's called the crisscross short these retail for a hundred and seventy eight dollars um, that feels a little insane to me. And then to go with it, I saw this cute little sort of just basic white top. I actually got it in a size small because I thought it would fit more kind of like a baby tee and it was $40. And so after I buttoned up these shorts, I was just very confused. The fit of them, so cute, like literally so cute, but I don't quite understand the crisscross thing. And I don't know if I did it wrong, but the crisscross just looks very, very weird on me and it just sat very strange, but I love, love, loved the shorts. I'll talk more about those later. On. One of the items that an employee picked out for me was this like oversized button down shirt, which I have been on the hunt for like the perfect one for a really long time. This is a relaxed fit. So I got it in a size large. It's $88 and I thought it looked really cute with this. I think if I took the t-shirt underneath off and maybe like tucked it in on one side, it would be a really, really cute shirt. This one was a win for me. Like I was very, very much into this and highly considered getting it, but that price tag is pretty pretty hefty. Next up we have, I'm pretty sure another top that an employee picked out and this is a crisscross tank that's cropped and it's got the sculpt material. You'll see this throughout me trying on these items. It's like a really nice structured ribbed material. And then these pants were very popular. They're called the effortless pant. And they're sort of like a business kind of slack type of pant and they're super duper high waisted. I got them in a size 16. They fit so great. I literally was obsessed with these. They were so cute, but that price tag, $148 just felt crazy to me, but I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit lost in the sauce during this and I quite literally almost got them. And I just love this top, I loved this material. I think it's so, so cute, but do I think it's that much different from like H&M? 
not really, but I did really love it. Speaking of sculpt, I got the ever popular sculpt material. I think it's like a fan favorite um, in a dress form. So this is like a tank mini dress and it retails for $110. I got it in a size extra large and it's a really cute bodycon dress. Bodycon isn't necessarily my favorite cut, but if you've noticed in videos, probably like starting this year, I've really tried to like open up my mind a little bit with what I wear and just get a little bit more comfortable showing the shape of my body. I think I spent many, many years of my life trying to hide my body. And although it was a cute dress, it just wasn't for me. Next, we're moving on to a plunge front cardigan. And I only picked this out because it was the only 2XL that I personally saw in the store. I'm sure they have others. I know they go up to a 2XL, but that was all I saw. And then these are the everyday pant that I tried on in the last outfit, but these are a cropped pant. And I loved the idea of this sort of like ivory cream color. Um, these were in a size 14, by the way, and I wanted to see sort of what the difference was between the fit of the two. It was a little bit tighter on the waist, as you could see. It was a bit of a struggle getting it on, but it did fit. Um, it, I could totally wear these. It was a little tighter around my butt than I would like for it to be, but they looked fantastic. These are a great pant, I will say that. I wish more than anything that they extended their sizing beyond a 16 because that's kind of ridiculous because this is a really cute outfit. The sweater was not my favorite though. It was a little too plungy. I did like the length of the crop, but I'm tall so I would have probably liked them to be a little bit longer. Although I do think they come in a tall and yeah, I was just like sweating profusely in this. It was cute, but it just wasn't my favorite. We're back with another sculpt piece. This is a one shoulder cropped tank and I loved how many colors were available in this. I think there were like, I don't know, 12 colors or something. It was crazy. There was so much to choose from. And then to go with it, I picked out this vegan leather pencil skirt. It retails for $98. I got it in a size 16. And truthfully, the only reason I picked this out was because it was a size 16 and that's it. But before I get into like the details of the actual skirt itself, please enjoy watching me being absolutely just baffled by which direction this skirt goes. It really threw me for a loop, but I figured it out. And yeah, it was just a little bit too big. Sometimes when things are super high-waisted like that, they don't fit me fantastic. So I would have had to size down to a 14, but I loved this tank. This tank was so cute. I went braless in it and I felt perfectly supported. It's like nice and tight. I love it. But I was just trying to like make sense of the skirt. I'm like, do I like it? Do I hate it? I don't know how I feel about this sort of like business casual attire, but I also really like the idea of it. Like I'm, I'm intrigued. And I had the idea to pair it with this blazer that was picked out for me. This is called the New Agency Blazer and it's uh, pretty expensive. It's $228. So, I mean, I, there was no chance I was buying this, but I was like, hey, let's make it worth it. Let's try it on. And this is in a size large. It did look really freaking cute. Like with a pair of heels, it's giving I'm in charge. It's giving I'm CEO, you know? And I love that. It has the brand name like on the sleeve here. I don't know if that's like traditionally their thing, but it was a really, really cute outfit. I just don't personally think it was worth the money for me. If I was wearing it like every day in an office setting, I think I would absolutely be down, but I honestly just couldn't justify it. Now this jumpsuit was one of the reasons I came here. I have seen so many people posting about this jumpsuit jumpsuit. It's $98, which is pretty pricey, but it's apparently like the most incredible material ever. It's so stretchy, so soft, so comfortable. And like, look how cute it is. It's like an entire outfit all built into one. And I can only describe what I was going through at this point as like pure sweat, but I was really feeling it. Like all of a sudden I was like, wait, do I love this? And I usually shy away from things that are super body hugging, like I mentioned before, but I just wanted to show what my body personally looks like in this because I was feeling really, really cute. And I threw on this white shirt that I tried on earlier with it. Cause that's kind of how I would style it. And I was feeling myself. And I just wanted to show that because I don't think that that's documented enough. And I do think that a lot of times I will talk about sort of my bad body image days or moments where I'm not feeling the most comfy in my body, but I just wanted to express, yeah, I was just saying that this is so comfortable and like I felt really cute in it. So this is what my body looks like in this. And I just wanted to share a little bit of that joy with you and share that like, it's totally okay to wear things that you see other people wearing, but like maybe your belly sticks out a little bit more than other people's or you can see cellulite or whatever. And those are all very normal human things. So I just kind of wanted to touch on that. And then the very last item is this contour ruche dress. It retails for $88 and I thought it was a really pretty brown color. It actually in the photo doesn't do justice to how cute it is in person. It's much more warm. And I mean, how cute was this? Like loved it. It was a very basic, simple dress. So would I pay $88 for it? I don't know. 
I mean, honestly, I was kind of thinking about it. But for me, I guess I, a lot of times when I'm purchasing things lately, I try to justify like cost per wear. Here's me showing you again, like what it looks like actually on my body instead of trying to like contort myself in ways that would hide my areas that I don't love as much. I'm clearly feeling myself, but when you break it down to cost per wear, I don't think I would get as much wear out of this. So I decided to say no, but it is a really, really cute dress. And overall, I would say my experience was pretty good. Like I'm even saying here in this clip that I'm shocked that I actually feel good, but I have a lot more thoughts. So let's go to the car and cool off and we'll chat. All right, we're back in the car and honestly, so I had a bunch of stuff in my hands that I was going to check out with and I was standing in the checkout line and there was like, it was really, really busy and I stood there for a few minutes and then all of a sudden this thought just came over me that was like, put everything back. Just put everything back. <laughs> Just leave. So I did. I think sometimes when I film these fitting room videos, I do feel a little bit pressured to buy things just because I'm scared that like I wasted people's time and that, you know, they checked on me in the fitting room and got me different sizes or whatever. And then I didn't end up like buying anything, but I liked a lot of things. I really liked a lot of things, but I didn't love, like couldn't live without it. Couldn't get it anywhere else for cheaper, you know, that type of thing. So as far as my thoughts overall, on like what their offerings are for sizing and all of that um it's really lackluster I was surprised that I found as many things as I did in store I would say in that store I was anywhere between like a 14 and a 16 but there were really slim pickings and the other thing that I didn't mention at the beginning is that these fitting room attendants were I mean there were like probably 40 employees in that store. I'm not kidding. It was so intense. Like every probably two seconds, someone comes up to you when you're shopping and is like, do you need a room? Like, what's your name? And when they were like starting a fitting room for me, um, I know that they were just trying to be helpful, but they were like, what's your, what size are you? Like, what size are you in bottoms? What size are you in tops? And it's so that they can like look for other things for you. They're trying to like sell you other items. So by the time I got in the fitting room, there were a bunch of things in there that like I didn't pick but that they were like oh you might love this which number one I think is sweet and number two I think is a fantastic sales technique but I don't know if that might like upset some people and then I did try on that first pair of denim shorts and I loved them I just didn't love like the style I thought it was like really weird and like abstract so when the fitting room attendant came she was like do you need another size and I was just like do you um, have this size in like another style and she was like let me go look and then she came back and was like oh we don't they like they cut off at the size before that or something and so it was just kind of like ugh. it's not a great feeling um I did hear a lot of other people though in the fitting rooms asking for other sizes it wasn't just me so it's definitely not just like a because I'm a plus size gal thing it was just I think like lack of inventory but overall it was better than I thought like I honestly feel fine I really liked the stuff that I tried on I liked the bodycon stuff it's just frustrating that I didn't get to like do the full fitting room experience I don't understand why they do the communal mirrors thing it makes no sense. If someone can explain that to me in the comments, enlighten all of us because that makes no sense to me. But overall, it wasn't terrible. Will I be going back in the fitting room anytime soon? Absolutely not. <laughs> if I ever wanted something from Aritzia, I would simply order it online and, and roll the dice. But I know for a lot of people, fitting rooms are really important and crucial and vital. So anyways, my final thoughts are that it was okay. Sorry if this video just isn't like the most fantastic quality. It was just things that were out of my control, but I don't want to like scrap it just because of that. So hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you so much for being here. If there are any other fitting rooms you want to see me visit, definitely let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I'm sending you all of my love and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Oh, and Aritzia, please extend your sizing. Okay, bye. Don't make me beg because I will.